Milan responds to price hike outrage by offering a generic EpiPen for $300. It's the health story everyone is talking about, EpiPen. The cost of these potentially life-saving injectables soared six-fold recently, making them impossible to afford for many parents of allergy sufferers, especially since families often need more than one set for school or daycare. A collective outcry lead Milan, the maker of EpiPens, to offer a me culpa of sorts last week. The drug maker promised to double the eligibility for patient assistance and eliminate out-of-pocket expenses for both uninsured and underinsured patients. Milan also said it would honor a 50% savings card, effective immediately. At that time, CEO Heather Briss, who came under fire for her hefty salary increases as the cost of EpiPen skyrocketed, said, we have been a long-term, committed partner to the allergy community and are taking immediate action to help ensure that everyone who needs an EpiPen auto-injector gets one. Except apparently, those initial measures were not enough to assuage customers' frustrations. So now, the company has taken another step toward winning back the public's trust. The New York Times reports Milan has decided to sell a generic version of the name-branded EpiPen at a lower cost. For a two-pack, which will be available in a matter of weeks, patients can expect to pay $300, or half the current price tag of the brand name. Want the latest parenting news? Sign up for our free parents' daily newsletter still. $300 is three times more than the medication cost just nine years ago. And as the Times notes, the cost to manufacture a generic version of the epinephrine injectable is believed to be much less than that number. And so, the controversy rages on, with lawmakers promising to investigate Milan further, and a petition to Congress demanding for a stop to the price gouge and continuing to gain traction online. Robert Weissman, president of Public Citizen, a consumer group, said in a statement, the weirdness of a generic drug company offering a generic version of its own branded but off-patent product is a signal that something is wrong. In short, today's announcement is just one more convoluted mechanism to avoid plain talk, admit to price gouging and just cut the price of EpiPen. But Bruce continues to point to the role of policymakers, payers, patients, and healthcare professionals in setting EpiPen's price, and ultimately, reforming our healthcare system so that patients' wallets don't suffer. All that is clear at this juncture is that something is broken if making a medication affordable to those who need it is so darn complicated. It's worth noting that, for now, Mylan faces almost no competition when it comes to their product. According to the Times, in light of the fact that Mylan can't seem to make customers happy, that could soon change. Do you think the company is doing enough to help patients who need a pipens? Melissa Willits is a writer, blogger and a mom. Follow her on Twitter, at Spit Up in Suburbs, where she chronicles her love of exercising and drinking coffee, but the never simultaneously.